Pierre Simon from simonwood.com. Today, uh, Domaine FL Les Bergères Anjou, uh, Shannon 2010. Uh, this is uh, Domaine Jo Piton, and um, I think I can't remember what happened a few years ago, but uh, he stopped being able to put Piton on his wines and um, now calls them Domain FL. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll point you to a page where you can find out all the intricacies of it. In the meantime, I'll try this wine. It's got that lovely, what I call the Shannon difficult character. Uh, so there is the, it feels like there's going to be a, some people call this, they call it lacy. I don't know, waxy. Uh, there is a, a, a tense, uh, quite acidic edge. So it's really that, that slight sucking limes and lemons. But there's also a um, richer, fuller, uh, juicier, uh, maybe quince, maybe uh, maybe it's it's not it's not peach. It, it, maybe it's on the pear side. Uh, uh, but then these um, herby soil-like elements as well. Uh, it smells uh, rich and it smells interesting. Um, I had I'm trying to think how long ago about six months ago I had a 2007 Savenier from them, which was a little bit. I don't know whether it had been aging a bit funnily, it, it had gone a bit fat and uh, oxidised. This feels just like more feisty and uh, it smells really good. Yum. Um, actually, I say yum. Um, for me, it's yum. Uh, it's the sort of wine that if I were to put that on the table, um, half of the people would go, will be going yum. Half of the people would be slightly concerned and some, but some of them would be very concerned about that acidity because it is on the tense and quite sharp side. Um, all you need to do is, uh, if you if you don't like that acidity, uh, don't drink it by itself, uh, or, or drink something else. But um, serve it with some food that you you think about what, what you would squeeze the lemon on. Um, so I would like that with uh, some soul, uh, not uh, soul, S O L E. Uh, but um, it's it just seems to be uncurling in my mouth, and it's it's got these things like that. There's the honey, there's the herbs, there's this uh, earthy. Uh, don't know whether there's any flint in the soil here, but there's something that's uh, that feels flinty, that's uh, that, that that's flitting in and out. And uh, people talk about this waxy edge that Shannon develops. There's a little bit of that too. Really complex wine. It just seems to be going on and on, and flavours building. And before before I came back and uh, uh, regaled you with what I think of it, I just kept sniffing, and I had a couple of sips, and it was going, hmm, yeah. And then, then there was this, and then there's that, and uh, so I've got a feeling it's one of those wines. If you do want to keep it for any length of time, it's going to reward you. Uh, but if you drink it now, give yourself a nice big glass, and give yourself plenty of time to enjoy it because it has more to give than uh, uh, than just on its first sip, or its second sip, or its third sip. I think I'll go away and have the fourth sip now. See you soon.